Hello, everybody. This is our second uh, in our series, Christian Practice 201. Uh, my title is Living God's Idea of Love. It's Romans 12, 9 to 21. So if you want to take your Bible uh, and turn to that, you'll be ready for what I want to talk about today. This is a great passage on love. Uh, if you had to go some, you know, give a definition of love or write a paper or, or, or figure out how can I love somebody, this would be a good place to go. Romans 12, 9 to 21. So let's just look back for a minute to see how we got here. Uh, Romans starts off with God saying that everybody can believe in God. You just look outside at the universe, how well it's put together, and you say there's got to be a designer behind that. Believing in God makes the best sense. Then he says you can all believe in God because we all have this tendency to judge other people. Well, where does that come from? Saying this person's wrong. Well, where'd you get that? In a naturalistic world, there's no right and wrong. Uh, so the best explanation is, as Paul says, God has written his law on our heart. And so all human beings have a, a sense of right and wrong given to them by God. But even so, we can believe in God. We choose not to. And so we fall short of God's glory. Then in chapters 4 and 5, God sends his son, his grace, to die for us uh, so that we can be forgiven of our sins and have a new relationship with God again if we come to him in faith. Uh, Romans 6 to 8 talks about how do we follow Christ. Uh, we can't do that unless we depend on the Holy Spirit. He gives us the Holy Spirit when we commit our lives to Christ. By depending on the Holy Spirit, we can live a life that honors Christ. Romans 9 to 11, he talks about what's, what about Israel? Did the church supplant Israel? Is Israel done? Uh, is there a part for them in the future? And uh, Chris Quinn talked about that uh, last Sunday. Then in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, he starts off, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy. In other words, it's all that we've seen before, chapters 1 to 11, God's mercy. Now he wants us to live a certain way. This is Christian practice. H how do we practice our faith? Um, and in Romans 12 to 16, it's all about practicing, living out. Our, our Christian faith. Now, in Romans 12, 9 to 21, uh, there's a great passage about love, and I want to read you just a few of the verses, so if you want to follow with me, Romans 12, 9, love, love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good, be devoted to one another in love. And so we are to love people. So how do we practice our faith? We love people. God's loved us. He's been merciful with us. So we turn around and are merciful with other people. We love other people. Now in verse 14, <clears throat> he does uh, something interesting. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Now, our natural reaction when somebody persecutes us, somebody does something mean to us, we want to do something mean back. But he says, don't do that. You bless them. You don't curse them. And then it gets even more difficult. Verse 17, do not repay anyone evil for evil. Our natural tendency, somebody does us evil, uh, we'll, we'll do you one back. Uh, he says, be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge. When we're wronged, what do we want to do? We want to take revenge. He says, no, nope, don't take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. The reason we're not to take uh, revenge is because we're usurping God's responsibility. He says, that's my job. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. So I have one question for you today. I'd like you to discuss in your group, if you're one-on-one -on -one with your partner, uh, turn to somebody and share, was there a time when somebody wronged you when you found the love within you from Christ, from the Holy Spirit, to forgive that person and to love them and do, do good to them even though they did evil to you? Or was there a time when you felt wronged by someone and you just couldn't forgive them? Maybe it's still going on in your life. You say, I don't have the strength to do that. Share that with each other. I think 
uh, this may take a while if people all have stories, um, but let people share with each other. Okay, have a good time. <laughs>